there's certainly I mean it's sort of that that music inspired me anarchist punk was like the music that you know I grew up on Flux of Pink Indians Crass you know bands like that so it's definitely in me definitely but I feel like music being anarchist is kind of an odd an odd, an odd way of, you know an odd concept there's a lot of nihilistic things in a, in the themes of our songs I think you know that life just crumbles and it's good that it crumbles that's you know you've, I find beauty in a lot of things that decay I think things should come to an end and they should rot but I, don't, I wouldn't say the music is nihilistic or anarchist. I just, there's elements, I suppose. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> when I'm on stage, I don't know if it's either of those things. It's something really odd, you know? There's a lot of adrenaline and it's... If it goes well, it's sort of like dreaming. That's just really odd. It's not really a feeling I ever feel when at any other time in my life, you know. Um, the fear and the excitement is, is what comes before going on stage, mm. you know. And fear is not a great word either. Anxiety, more nervousness. Yeah. Um, well, I still get, I still get, I get nervous before every show. Um, scared. You get scared. Terrified sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because it's a hard thing to keep to keep to keep putting in your blood, you know, this idea that you know, you can breathing deep and saying, you know, we can we can do this. We can, you know, nothing will go you know, constantly, nothing's gonna go wrong. We're bigger than this, we're gonna yeah. try and like a fight. We're gonna be giants up there, you know. It's 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 kind of you do it once or twice or half a dozen times, a dozen times, 20 times. But it's just like, it's more exhausting to be like this, to try and be superhuman. Because it is, it's just us two, look, it's us two, we're quite fragile. Cut us and we bleed, flick us and we go, ow. And then, you know, there's breaking equipment and things going wrong. And <laughs> That's it, the there's shit so I'm many, about. you know, it's like a little bubble up there of having, and there's, all these needles around threatening to pop it and it's kind of yeah it's, it's quite a task keeping it all together I think and, and and yeah a lot of it's this you know keeping it together and if I stop doing that then it sounds ridiculous you know if you stop singing it's not so bad but if I stop playing so, uh, it's over you know the song stops. Thank goodness for the drum machine because we just be exactly. Yeah. So that's why I get so scared. I think. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I think it has two different lives. You know, I love our I love our band on record and in the studio, but I think I think any time you take a record that you've written and you take it out of that environment and you play it on stage live, it changes. You know, it becomes a different kind of animal. But I think any, any band that says that, that, that one of the key elements of their band is the attitude, which is how I feel about this band, it's going to have more impact at seeing it live than on record. But I think we're trying to, we tried on this record to, um, to e explore what we could do in the studio more this time, I think. Don't you think? <laughs> we were never lovers. Never? Never. Okay, so that's why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Would you like to? I would like to, yeah, but I don't think... I mean, I would imagine that she's probably wants to put all that stuff behind her and she doesn't want some idiotic band who finds something admirable about, about it to come and patronise her with uh, a meet and greet. I would imagine she's got far bigger things to worry about. But um, I think she's an important person 
I think she's, you know, I think it was a hugely important thing that happened. It was just a perfect, uh, perfect product of the time, you know, and iconic and cinematic. Yes. And obviously, I'm not allowed to condone it, so I wouldn't. But I think it's um, that's. I mean, that's nihilism right there. You know, it's like you reap what you sow. Society makes kids like that. You dumb people down enough, and they're going to jump out of the cage and rattle it. Electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do, you, uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by shock? Surprise? Yes, surprise. Every night or just once in a while? I need more details for this question. Um, when are you shocked about on stage? I don't. Shock doesn't really come into my performance, really, unless I'm shocked by some <laughs> faulty gear. <laughs> Which has happened, hasn't it? It's yeah. touched on me. Yeah. Got an electric shock. But shock isn't really, <laughs> no, and really surprise know. normally comes in the form of something bad, like um, the song stopping, or another drum track coming in in the middle of a song, or someone getting up on stage. <laughs> Those are the sh shockers. <laughs> <laughs> Underground would probably be there. Velvet Fugazi. Underground. Fugazi. Velvet Underground. Captain Beefheart. Captain, <laughs> Captain Beefheart. Roxy Music. Velvet Underground. Charlie Patton. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good. It's a pretty good bunch list. Of people. Pretty good. An album that meant the most to me when I was growing up and still has that effect, although it sounds quite dated now, would be a, a record called Let the Tribe Increase by The Mob. My? The Mob, a small band called The Mob, and they made an album called Let the Tribe Increase that was... Uh, English band? Yeah. Yep. And so I, I love that. Most, most people don't love it. But I love it. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. You don't like rock? Yes, but I'm not sure if it's rock. It's not 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 rock.